Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I have got you covered if you need some organization ideas or motivation. I have compiled a bunch of my favorite small space organization videos into one super long marathon for you. And there's something for everyone in this video. These are all renter friendly and budget friendly organization ideas. We're covering small kitchens, small bathrooms, small laundry closets, and small entryways today in this video. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my future uploads. Next week, I have a small playroom transformation video and it will have a massive 50,000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure your notification bell is turned on. You will not want to miss this video. Without any further introduction, let's get into the marathon. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm showing you all the ways I've come up with so far to creatively store things in my small kitchen. I just moved into this apartment about two months ago, so these ideas are perfect for renters and also for those who are on a budget. I focused mainly on organizing under my kitchen sink, my spices, my pantry, and also how I store my pots and pans. My favorite thing in this video is by far what I came up with for storing spices and also the transformation under my sink. Nothing beats an organized space in my opinion. So stay tuned to come along with me through the organization process today. Hopefully this gives you some ideas for your own space and I will have all of the products that I use in this video linked in my description box for you as well. The first thing that I'm doing here is just opening up all of the products that I had ordered. I placed a couple of orders. I shopped through Amazon, also Target, and Bed Bath & Beyond. But I just wanted to get everything put together before I got into organizing because it's very frustrating when you start an organization project and you don't have everything that you need already ready to go. I don't want to stop to have to do this kind of thing later, so I just got everything out of their packaging, got it all set up, and ready to go. The first area that I'm going to be working on is under my sink. I knew this would take the longest, so I wanted to knock this out first. So just like any other organization project, I'm starting off by taking everything out and then I'm just going to wipe it down and clean it out. To clean under this sink, I'm going to be using my e-cloths. I have been totally obsessed with e-cloths ever since my subscribers recommended them to me. I especially love the stainless steel e-cloths. Those have been amazing for cleaning my apartment appliances that I was having a major issue with streakiness. So thank you so much to all of you who recommended them to me. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below to where you can purchase e-cloths. They are so worth every single penny and I promise you that you will love them. I used to think I had plenty glass was half empty but you came along and showed me how to love I bought this specifically to go under my sink I love using these two-tier sliding basket organizers underneath my sink I just think it's perfect for things that you grab all the time so up top I put all of my dishcloths I don't have any sort of drawer that I can fit those in in my kitchen so they had to go under my sink and then on the bottom one I'm just putting my magic erasers the sponge daddies I have a couple of other sponge related things and some dawn dish soap as well as the brush that I use to clean out my sink so that they're easily accessible and then these baskets I already had under my sink I'm just placing them back under there I kind of take things apart over and over again as I'm organizing and I'm sure that a lot of us are like that. I just want to make sure that I'm making the most of the space that I have so I will arrange it and rearrange it multiple times before I settle on something. 
I ended up placing one of my cabinet shelf organizers under the sink as well. I just think it's really important that you're using your vertical space as much as possible when you don't have a ton of space. That way I can place things under it and I can place things on top of it and I'm just making so much more use of the vertical space that otherwise would be going to waste. This cute little hack here I saw on Pinterest and I thought it was just the coolest thing. It is so inexpensive because all you need are some command strips as well as this little organizer here. I believe that it's used for like binders or papers or something in an office. All I know is that it is incredibly cheap. I'm going to be using it to store things like aluminum foil or parchment paper, wax paper, plastic Ziploc bags. I have extremely limited drawer space in my kitchen and cabinet space, so finding a place for all of those things has been really hard for me and I found myself placing them in multiple different drawers. So I am freeing up so much room by putting this thing in here and storing all of that stuff in it. This is one of my favorite things in this video. I just think this is such a genius little hack and I hope that you guys like it as well. Now I'm just giving you a quick peek of the finished product. I'm so happy with the way that my under the sink organization turned out. It feels a million times better when I have to go in there now and I'm not sifting through a bunch of crap trying to find what I need. This was a really satisfying transformation for me because under the sink had been bothering me for quite some time, literally since I moved in two months ago. The next thing that I wanted to work on was this cabinet where I store all of the plates and bowls and Carson's plates and bowls. It was just really hard to organize them because a lot of his plates and bowls were weird sizes and they didn't fit on top of each other quite right. Also, the cabinets in my kitchen are really high and I can't reach everything up top. I'm actually standing on a ladder in this clip. So I don't want to use the space up above in order to store some of Carson's things because I don't want to pull up the ladder every single time I need to grab him something. So I absolutely love these cabinet organizers that you can see here. They just create more vertical space like I was saying when I was organizing under the sink. And these ones that I have are from Target and they are so cheap, like dirt cheap, and they work great. guys, I was like giddy when I saw this online and I was just praying that it would fit in my cabinets correctly and it did. I can't even tell you how excited I was. I was looking for something like this and I couldn't find it anywhere, but I ended up finding it on Bed Bath & Beyond. So it actually clips in under the shelf in your cabinet and it just, again, is utilizing your vertical space that you would otherwise be wasting. 
This one in particular only holds about six spices and it folds up and folds down when you need to grab them and your drawers of your cabinet will close perfectly fine because it doesn't like jut out anywhere. If you have an incredibly large spice collection, this probably won't work for you and in that case, I would probably recommend like spice liners for inside of your drawers. I know there's some really good ones on Amazon by Utopia that I absolutely love. But for me, where I only have a few spices that I use on the regular, this was perfectly fine. And for the sake of making them all look pretty and uniform, I'm putting them all into glass spice jars and I'm using an embossed label maker to put labels on all of them. This label maker was so cheap and it was from Target. So like I said, I'm gonna have everything linked in my description box below. This is future me talking and I just want to throw this in there because I know I'm going to get comments because I got a bunch of comments in the original video. Yes, I know you don't need scissors to use this label maker. This was actually the first time I'd ever used it and I did not read the directions beforehand and I just wasn't paying very much attention. So yes, I do know that now. I know there's a cut button. So in the future, definitely won't be taking out the scissors and you don't need scissors in order to use this label maker. So I won't listen to a word you speak anymore. Cause you only bring me down But now I am gonna fly You're gonna be loveless When you're without me You're gonna regret it Sooner or later You're acting all tough You think you're all that But don't you know what goes around goes back around You're gonna be loveless the finished spice rack I just think this is the coolest thing ever and maybe I'm ridiculous but I'm telling you guys I seriously was like so giddy over this thing I just think it's awesome the next area that I wanted to work on was where I was storing my pots and pans this was difficult and I've already kind of utilized the doors in this cabinet by placing a command hook on one of my doors and hanging my oven mitt from there. That is one of the hacks that I would definitely recommend. I really like that one. But I needed to put some sort of mechanism in there to store my pots so that they were easy to grab. The one that I purchased here that you see, it's not the best. It was really cheap and I was hoping it would work better than it does. I can store like two of my pots on it. None of the other ones will fit. So I'm gonna try and find a better one that I can link for you guys, but this does work okay for me. It's just not exactly what I wanted. But in order for me to use it, I actually needed to move the shelf that was under this cabinet because there wasn't enough space for me to put that under there. So as you can see, I kind of fiddled around with it for a little bit, tried to find a good way to store things, but it just wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be. I'm sure there is something better out there, but again, I was sticking to really budget friendly for this video, so this one just was not it. But that's okay because more importantly, I'm going to be showing you guys what I came up with for storing the lids to your pots and pans. 
I found some really cool things to use for this. They are by the brand Joseph & Joseph, which is who made the spice rack organizer that I just used a couple of minutes ago. I really like this brand. I think they're so cool. And none of their products require drilling or anything. They just have 3M strips on the back of them, so they stick right onto your doors. So they're not going to damage the inside of your cabinets or anything, which is why they're perfect for renters. And these lid holders just stick right on the back of your doors. You can put them on the inside of the cabinet as well, wherever you have space. But for me, on the doors was perfect. And now they're so easy to grab and they're not taking up space in the cabinet and creating clutter and making it difficult for me to get to the things that I need. When I first moved into my apartment, I didn't have this cabinet. I actually bought this myself. It was from Target, but I believe they also sell it on Amazon. I'm gonna have this linked for you just like everything else. But this is a super cheap pantry cabinet by Closet Made. It's like 60 or 70 bucks. And what I did was I just removed the white handles that came with it and I replaced them with poles that look just like the ones that are in my kitchen. So it honestly looks like it just belongs in here now and I have been loving it. When I first moved in, I was storing all of my food in my cabinets and it just made it really, really difficult for me because I didn't have room for anything else. So for a really long time, I was living with so many boxes in my kitchen because I couldn't fit everything in my cabinets with all of the food. Plus we're going through basically the apocalypse. So needing to have extra food on top of that, it was just really hard. Aside from just having a few baskets in here, I really hadn't organized the space. So I wanted to work on that a little bit in this video. I ended up moving a shelf so that the space would just make a little bit more sense. I also used some of my cabinet organizers to create some more vertical space, just like I did in other areas of my kitchen. And this is in no way a Pinterest perfect pantry organization, but if you're on a budget, don't worry about that stuff, honestly. It really doesn't matter if your pantry looks beautiful and perfect. The whole point of organizing a space is just making it a little bit easier for you to see what you have so you're not wasting food. And it is most definitely not about how beautiful your pantry is and what labels and containers you have and how well they match with each other and everything else. None of that honestly matters. Just organize the space in the way that makes the most sense to you and choose not to care that it's not perfect. About to reach the end of this video when I'm done organizing my pantry. 
I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and you took a ton of useful information away from it on how you can organize your space. I'm so happy that I did all of this. It just provides me with so much mental clarity to have an organized space and I put it off for so long because honestly, spending money on things like this is not my favorite thing to do. But I set a budget for myself and I stuck to it and I'm just so happy that I ended up doing it. I have so much more that I need to organize, not just in my kitchen, but all over my apartment. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss those videos and turn your notification bells on. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you'll come back for my next one. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video. This week we are focusing on my bathroom, doing some cleaning, organizing, and a little decluttering too. I'm going to be showing you how I maximize space in my bathroom in some affordable ways to organize your space if you really don't have a lot of it. So hopefully this video not only provides you some motivation, but also some ideas you can use at home to organize your bathroom. I will keep on holding my head high. So my camera just didn't record this but I just assembled this. I got this off of Amazon. It was pretty cheap. I don't remember how much, but I'll have it linked in my storefront if you're interested. Um, I wanna say it was like $20, $30, something like that. But I'm gonna use this over here in the corner uh, for a bunch of different things. And I'm really excited about this because the situation I have going on in the corner right now is not very good. I store all of Carson's like bath towels and stuff in here since he does use my tub. So, um, I usually put them in there and there's just a bunch of stuff over here, a bunch of mis mismatched stuff that really doesn't have a place. So this is going to save me a lot of room. And this was very, very easy to put together. It took me probably two minutes and I wish that I had the footage of me putting it together. Uh, but for some reason my camera was not recording. So it was really, really easy and quick. There was no real assembly required. You literally just stick things into the holes and push them in place and it's as easy as that so i really like this a lot my kittens are going to be all over me through this entire video so if you don't like cats you've come to the wrong place <laughs> but these are my foster kittens and they're very curious and into what i'm doing so just be ready to see a whole bunch of kittens running around in this video This rolling three-tier organizer is probably my favorite thing to come out of this video. I was keeping all of the washcloths I used when Carson was in the bath just thrown in a bucket in the corner there. I really wanted something that I could store his bath-related products and then just a few odds and ends. This thing is just perfect. I purchased it for $21 on Amazon and it was worth every penny. It's available in a few different sizes. You could get one with only two tiers. You could get one with four tiers if you need that many. You could also use this for a variety of different things. For example, an art cart. That was another idea I had looking at this product. It's so versatile, but it's perfect for my bathroom because I can roll it out and utilize it when I'm giving my toddler a bath, but then I can roll it back next to the cabinet here in this awkward gap and you won't see it anymore. I'm going to have this as well as any other products that are worth mentioning in this video in my Amazon storefront under bathroom organization. So it's really easy for you guys to go and check things out and shop if you are interested. And that is in my description box below. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know I do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talk until you end. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me a sign. I could go.
go for it. I do want to note that my bathroom is not the smallest bathroom in the world. I've definitely seen smaller ones. My apartment actually has pretty decent storage in the bathrooms. There's a lot of drawers, big cabinets under the sinks, so it's really not too bad. But I did want to direct this video at other people who are renting, who maybe don't have a lot of space, who need some help figuring out how to utilize the space that they do have. So while my bathroom is not the tiniest bathroom ever, and I'm very lucky, I think that these ideas that I'm sharing in this video will help people who do have a smaller space. So give me a sign, give me a sign, baby just give me a sign, baby give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you and here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here, I wanna go all in, so give me a sign. I do want to mention just because I'm super nitpicky with myself, but the lighting in this video is super off. I had no natural light to work with and the lights in my bathroom just turn everything kind of yellowy and it's just really difficult to get good lighting in here so please bear with me i know that it's not like the most beautiful video i've ever posted but i promise you that the ideas that i give you in this video are worth it wish i could say i was finally over you but that's not the truth Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page I purchased these drawer dividers on Amazon as well. A four pack was really affordable. These are adjustable. They are super heavy duty. They're really easy to use and I absolutely love them. So I would definitely recommend these drawer dividers. It's a lot easier than trying to play Tetris with a bunch of different containers to find a pattern that fits and you can organize all of your things in. So this is a really affordable way just to divide out a drawer so you don't have things rolling around in the drawer and just becoming a mess all the time. I am never going for perfect when I'm organizing. I'm just not at that phase in my life right now. I'm really just going for function. So I just try to organize things in a way that makes sense to me and that makes me feel good and that's all that I really care about. I'm not doing any of this to make my space look Pinterest worthy and you do not need to do that either. It is just not realistic for most people to have their house look like a showroom all the time and I'm no exception. I wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Once I finished dividing out my drawers with the drawer dividers and just trying to reorganize the drawers a little bit, I had trash and clutter everywhere, so I'm just collecting all of that and getting it thrown away and out of my way. I did also want to clean my bathroom on this day, so I'm trying to just get everything picked up here because it just feels so good to have a freshly organized space that's also really clean. Mm -hmm. 
I have decluttered and organized under my sink so many times, so I didn't want to go too in depth in this video as far as that goes. The systems that I have in there have been working just fine. So I use a shelf riser and then I also have a two tier pull out drawer organizer. It is similar to the one that I use in my kitchen and a lot of you guys really loved that in my kitchen organizing video. So I also use it in my bathroom and it works great. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it cost me When I let you go I feel alone And I'm just singing mm -hmm. It should have been you Another time, another place I just know mm -hmm. It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking Could be a face but it feels like It will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how The next thing that I wanted to do was just quickly go through Carson's bath toys. He really wasn't using the vast majority of them anymore and they were just taking up a lot of space. I didn't want to shock him and get rid of everything all at once. So I just went through and got rid of some of the older things and things that he definitely would not miss if I got rid of them. He typically brings his own toys into the bath. He will pick out some trucks or whatever and he'll bring them in with him some Paw Patrol figures, whatever, and that's fine with me. I don't really mind that he doesn't enjoy playing with bath toys and he just brings his own. Finally, once all of that was done, I just wanted to clean my toilet and I mentioned in my last, one of my last videos that I don't really enjoy cleaning my toilet on camera, but a whole bunch of you said that you do like it because it motivates you to get up and clean yours. So I figured I would just include it in this video and I use my Clorox disposable toilet wand to do that. And then I just use some disinfectant wipes to wipe down the rest of the toilet. First of all, I really love this. I'm pretty happy about this. I think it'll be really nice when I'm sitting here giving Carson a bath to just roll it out and grab whatever I need. And then I have room to also store my um, shower cleaner there. I get questions about that a lot. I got it from Target, but I'm pretty sure I can find it on Amazon. So I will link it in my storefront if you guys are interested in checking that out. Cause every single time I use it, I get questions about it. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I think this will be good just for storing Carson's 
bath related things and then just like extra trash bags for convenience being able to grab them I don't know why I find it easier to have them here than I do to have them under the sink it's probably the same exact thing but to me it just feels a little bit easier and then I also have my um, travel clothing steamer these are some q-tips and extra toilet paper because I love to have it all over the place I don't ever want to run out of toilet paper that would be horrible <laughs> and I also have um, the whale that I use to rinse Carson's hair and then this shelf right here this shelf right here is from Target from the Hearth and Hand collection. I've had it for a long time, so I don't know if it's still on their site, but if it is, I will link it. Every single time I show this in my videos as well, I get questions about it. I really like it. It doesn't go that well, I feel like, in this apartment, like the colors and stuff, but I did not want to get rid of it because I love it, so keeping it on display, and I just always keep some of the products that I use the most frequently on top, and then q-tips and decor items i really never use these towels <laughs> they've been in here forever they're mostly for decoration but there are a couple of, of them missing so i guess i did use some recently this i made myself this little makeup caddy here um it was unfinished from michael's and it had these little like circular wooden knobs and i removed them and got these ones from target just to make it look a little bit fancier and i stained this as you can see, I did not stain the back. That's what it looks like before. I was just a little bit lazy, but usually you can't tell. It's just the fact that it's right up against the mirror in this apartment. And people ask me a lot too, if I ever clean my makeup brushes, I do. Um, but I wear makeup like every single day. So they look like this all the time. And I hate cleaning them. It's definitely one of the jobs I dread the most. This random, but this is like the best makeup brush ever. So if you guys, need a good makeup brush. I love the Artiste brushes. They're amazing. But anyway, off topic. In this drawer, I used one of the drawer dividers. These are awesome. Like this is really sturdy. It's so easy to use. This pack of them was pretty cheap too. And I just like it because it divides out the drawer. So when you're opening and closing it, it's not like everything is rolling all over the place. So I really like these and I used one in pretty much every single drawer. It's a really cheap way just to divide out your drawers without having to buy a bunch of containers and then try and play Tetris to figure out where the containers will fit. So there's really no rhyme or reason, I feel like, to where I have things. Um, to me there is, but I feel like to anybody else they'd look at this and say it's not that organized. But I'm not trying to be perfect here. I'm just trying to make it um, convenient for me when I'm trying to get ready and stuff. So. These are like extra products that I don't use very often. These are more of my like regular stuff, hair elastics, and then I don't know how Gimme Brow got in there. Um, and then these are tools for when I'm doing my hair. Down here is extra makeup products that I really don't use very often at all, so I didn't really bother organizing this, but that's just a whole bunch of extra makeup products. And then down here, this has really been decluttered so much over time, so I don't have too much down here, just some cleaning products and then just a bunch of odds and ends that really didn't have a better place. And then also all of my nail stuff. Um, last time I did this, a lot of you asked what the nail kit was that I got, because I was talking about it. Um, it's by Olive and June and I love it. I got the everything box and it makes doing my nails so easy and it lasts a really long time. Um, I need to do them again. They're super chipped right now, but I did them seriously like weeks ago. You can tell by how much growth there's been. Um, and they, like, a couple of them don't even look that bad. So this stuff holds up for a really long time and it's super easy. And then again, just more odds and ends down here. And then in here is where I've always stored Carson's towels. So when he gets out of the bath, I can just grab a towel from out of here quick. And then up here... I used a divider just to keep this all from kind of rolling around like I was saying before. So this is like my blow drying section. So I've got my blow drying brush. I've got the comb that I use to like comb my hair or not comb my hair, um, part my hair uh, when it's wet and then my blow dryer. And then over here, just got my brush that I use all the time and curling iron and hair straightener. So it just helps kind of divide it up a little bit in there. And then up here, I used a divider for, I have these like spice 
rack liners that I absolutely love for doing this for um, you just cut them to fit your drawer and then it holds your products like perfectly without them rolling around but I used a couple of them in my kitchen so I didn't have enough for this side so I just used a divider and just shoved a couple of things over here I'm realizing I have so much Curology um, cleanser and moisturizers I I don't know what's like wrong with me if I'm just not washing my face enough because they send them like every 60 every 60 days and I just have like an an abundance of it so I probably need to like skip a 60 day or something um, just to go through all of it but yeah this is just some products and stuff but and then in Carson's tub I decluttered the toys quite a bit and a lot of his pipes are no longer really working as far as the suction goes so I got rid of a lot of them but I did love them and they lasted a very long time before we started to not really want to stick to the tub anymore and then I need another hook for that because the other one broke but that's where I usually store all of his other toys so I got rid of a lot because he really doesn't use them like ever he typically brings in some toys that he wants to bring in to play with so I didn't feel like I needed that many in here anymore so i'm trying to go through it but also not shock him by getting rid of everything at once so i'm just gonna see how he feels about the ones that i left and if he actually starts using them but i may end up getting rid of more Hey guys, welcome to part two of my small kitchen organization series. Today we are finishing up my kitchen organization on a budget project and I've got a few more fun ideas for you guys to help you organize your space creatively. In this video, we are reorganizing my cutlery drawer. I've got some really cool pantry organizers to help maximize pantry space that I know you guys are going to love. And I'm also organizing my junk drawer in a few other areas. If you missed part one, Definitely make sure you check that video out as well because it has a huge majority of my best ideas in it and you don't want to miss it. In that video, I shared my best under the kitchen sink organizing ideas as well as the cutest little spice rack that I'm still obsessed with. But without further ado, let's start by removing everything from my cutlery drawer. And I actually purchased these two new organizers by Joseph and Joseph. They're $10 a piece and a huge space saver. My goal was to free up as much drawer space as possible to create a junk drawer because the system I was using for all of my miscellaneous items was just not working and I did accomplish this goal. I was able to consolidate two drawers into one by removing the old cutlery organizer. I also took all of the more dangerous tools out of that drawer since I do have a toddler and I obviously don't want potentially harmful things in his reach. But the next thing I wanted to do was reorganize this kind of awkward cabinet. So I removed everything from it and I used Dollar Tree bins to organize some baking items as well as the dangerous tools that were previously in my cutlery drawer. I also purged a lot of things on this day, so everything that I took out of my cabinets, I really thought about whether or not I'm actually going to use them before making the decision if I'm going to keep it, donate it, or throw it away. If you are organizing on a really tight budget, I just want to say that Dollar Tree has some really amazing bins. So if you have a Dollar Tree close to you, definitely go and check them out. They have some really great like rubber on the bottom that helps to keep everything from slipping. They're just really good quality and they're only a dollar. As 
as you can see, I actually have a little bit of space now as I'm going through these next two clips. I have the bins in there. I can just pull them out when I need something in it and then slide the bins back in. It's super easy. Nothing is cluttered anymore. I have extra space in my cutlery drawer. So I could do something with that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it's really nice to know that I have that. And next we're going to work on my junk drawer. This is the cabinet from hell where I have been storing all of my miscellaneous items that came from my junk drawer at my previous house when I had a really big one and a lot of space to store everything. But this system was definitely not working and anytime that I needed something in there, I just dreaded opening that cabinet and trying to go through it. So I decided that I really needed to heavily declutter all of this and I only wanted to keep what would fit into the junk drawer that I was creating. And that's not a big drawer, as you will see in a minute. Everything else I was getting rid of. This took me quite some time. I had a huge excess of things that I hadn't touched in so long. So as I was going through everything, I was trying to be really brutal with myself about when is the last time I even used this? Have I even used this since I moved into this apartment? And do I see myself actually needing this at some point? And by having that mentality, I was able to declutter over half of the things that I had in this drawer and it felt so good. As far as the organization bins go, I actually used the little extensions that went on the side of my old cutlery organizer and then I just used another Dollar Tree bin to stick into the drawer and kind of divide everything up a little bit. And here I'm just putting everything in to see what fits but I do end up going through it just a little bit more and I checked all of the sharpies and the pens to see if they even worked and I tried to just keep a few so like one thin sharpie, one thick sharpie, one red sharpie, instead of having like doubles and triples of everything. Here is the finished product for my junk drawer. It felt so good to do this and now when I need something it's so easy for me to just grab it and I'm just really happy that I finally went through that dreaded cabinet. But here I'm just cleaning out this little drawer with my e-cloths and then I'm placing these little spice rack liners inside. I had a few spices that didn't fit into my spice rack but I had plenty of drawer space because I was able to consolidate them so well. And these spice rack liners are actually by Utopia, I want to say. I purchased them on Amazon a long time ago and I've used them for like a million things. They are really great for in your bathroom for organizing as well. They're really cheap and you can cut them to any size to fit any drawer. Nothing slips or moves around. I would highly recommend them. They're definitely budget friendly as well. So I'm going to have everything that I use in this video linked in my description box below. But now that I have freed up an entire cabinet, basically, by creating my junk drawer, I was able to take some of the things that I use on a more regular basis that I had had to place up really high and out of reach. I was able to put those on these two lower shelves and just make my life a little bit easier. Wow. Wow. 
So we finally reached probably my favorite part of this video. It is just like my spice rack organizer. I'm just like giddy over this thing. I think it's so cool. And it's also by the brand Joseph & Joseph. They are like my new favorite brand when it comes to small spaces and organizing. It's just amazing. The products that they have, that is where my cutlery organizer came from, my spice rack, and also these containers, which were only $18 for three containers and if you have ever organized a pantry before you know that these nice um, clear acrylic kind of containers are crazy expensive so I feel like that was a really good deal so right here I'm just washing them out and getting them ready I'm gonna just put some rice I had panko breadcrumbs and I also had couscous that I was planning to transfer over into these containers I'm the bad one, take a look at yourself in the mirror, if I'm the worst one, ask anybody else, who they prefer, if it comes down to me. Similar to the cool little spice rack from my previous video, these containers actually utilize your vertical space that you would otherwise be wasting by hooking onto the top of a shelf. And I just think it's like the coolest thing ever. And I know that's ridiculous to be this excited over a kitchen organizing product, but seriously, it's so cool. It has this little 3M strip on the back. So you just remove that so that you can place it securely at the top of either your cabinet or your pantry or whatever. For my pantry, I use this $60 closet made pantry cabinet. I think this thing is awesome. It does the job perfectly well for me. I'm not trying to have a perfectly organized Pinterest worthy pantry, but I think that building up with things like this over time can definitely help me get there at some point. And seriously, look how cute those things are. I just love them. And the next thing that I did in order to label them was use actually a dry erase marker to just write in the front of them because I'm definitely going to be switching out the things that are in these containers. So I didn't want to use my label maker and create a label and create hassle for myself. So a dry erase marker did the job perfectly and I can just easily erase it and rewrite whatever I put in there next time and it's not a hassle. I don't have any super fun or creative ideas for this cabinet quite yet, but it totally needs it. This is where I store all of my baking materials, so my cupcake pans and cake pans, and I even have my griddle up there for pancakes. I just can't reach this cabinet very well, so I figured I would put the things that I'm least likely to need in the time where I'm living in this apartment, or just things that I'm not going to need very often. But I took everything out of it and I just sorted through it a little bit. I wanted to declutter it and just find the things that I'm really not using and get rid of those. And then just categorize the rest really well and just try to organize it to the best of my abilities. But I didn't do anything crazy here. Why don't we say that it's too late for us now? Why do we stay? When I blame you for the things that weigh me down. Cause in the echo of your side. So I figured that I would end this video with just a quick tour of my kitchen now that it is like completely organized, at least I think completely organized enough for me to live here. This is just an apartment. This isn't my forever home. So I'm not trying to make it perfect, but I'm definitely trying to utilize the space to the best of my ability. I'm going to just show you guys everything that I've done and where everything is organized and hopefully it gives you some ideas. I do have a part one to this video that was up a couple of weeks before. So if you didn't watch that one, then definitely check that one out. If you need some organizing and decluttering motivation, even more than this one. And it's got some cool ideas which you will also see in this kitchen tour. So let's do that. So starting over here, obviously this is just my fridge. But up above the fridge, I have all of my baking supplies and then also my griddle for pancakes. These are huge cabinets and there's still space. So 
pretty proud of myself for that. So I'm gonna close this. Over here, this is where I keep all my cups and things. So I also keep my goodbye stress vitamins. Those, I can't speak for whether or not they work because I've only taken them one time, but they do taste pretty good. So <laughs> um, my dishwasher's full right now, so I don't have all my dishes in here, but this is where I would keep all my glasses. And then these are like Yetis and stuff like that. And then up here is where I keep Carson's cups. I do need to get another one of the cabinet shelves for in here, like a smaller one so I can separate off his cups. I actually hate the 360 miracle one so i may even just get rid of those because they just are terrible and i know everybody loves them but i hate them because if they hit the floor anything that's in there just splatters and it's miserable <laughs> and then up top in all of these cabinets are things that i don't reach for regularly so my goal in organizing was to make sure that all of the lower cabinets that i could actually reach without getting on a ladder is where all of my important things were and then anything else that i don't need on a regular basis is up high and then in this cabinet this is where i keep all of my plates and bowls and mugs and carson's plates and everything this normally is not up here but i don't even know why like how that ended up there but anyway up top i just have some serving plates and i also have just some containers for storing food and stuff but as you can see i have extra space so that's exciting and this is my spice rack i used in my last kitchen organization video and i just think this is the cutest thing in the world and it just kind of hides all your spices and it's adorable so down here i finally have a junk drawer i have not had a junk drawer since moving in here because i just didn't have the space for it but i finally made space for it so i have all my junk crammed into here not in the most organized fashion but um it's better to have a junk drawer than nothing at all because it was annoying not to have it and then down here is where i keep my toaster my waffle iron and then that is just like a baking dish and then under my sink i featured this in my last kitchen organization videos and i also organized under my sink in my last video i just keep all my cleaning towels and you know all the cleaning products and stuff related to the kitchen under my sink up here i store a lot of things in these bins so in here is where i keep i just keep all my uh measuring cups it's really handy right there and then this one this bin up here has my waffle my mini waffle maker i love that thing it's amazing and in here is just let me show you this is just little glass dishes that I use a lot when I'm cooking and a little strainer and rubber bands. So I use all these bins to store something. They're not just for decoration. And then in here, this is what I organized today. I've got dangerous tools that I don't want Carson to be able to reach right there. This is baking related things. That is an ice cream container for homemade ice cream. And then I also have Carson's baby bullet. <laughs> Hopefully I get to use again someday for another baby. Up here is kind of like my apocalypse cabinet. So I have like random packaged food that I was just keeping up here in case I had nothing. So I may end up just donating all of this because now that things are starting to get better, I mean that I do eat my, I do eat my special K and the Fruit Loops, but everything else, I can't see myself probably using it. So I'll probably donate that. And then we have this cabinet which i just store my cake stand these are ice cream cups and i use these all the time i think they're so cute and then i just have a mixing bowl and just another random storage container and some other storage containers i have a super old kitchen aid mixer like a hand mixer up there i love that thing and i don't use it very often so that's up there and then that is more serveware so i have a lot of serveware but i used to have a big kitchen and I used to have Carson's birthday parties and things where I would actually need them and now it's not really happening but I don't want to get rid of them because someday I'm sure I will need them. And then we have silverware. So I got two of these and I think that was a good idea so I could put the small things in this one and the big things in this one and then Carson's things go up front. These are just like things that are safe for Carson to get into and he can't really hurt himself with. And then I've got my measuring spoons. And then down here, I organized this kind of in a recent video, but 
I do love these little pot holders. I think they're awesome. And then um, I use a command hook to hang up my oven mitt, but that thing didn't really work out. I'm still planning to buy an adjustable one to use, so I'll let you guys know how that is when I do that, but still, this is definitely better than it was before. And then finally, we have my little pantry. So up top is where I keep all the goods, like all the snacks that I don't want Carson getting into all the time. Um, I also don't want me getting into it all the time. So if it's in that basket, I can't really see it very well and I forget what's in there. So that's a good thing. And then I always have to keep my little childproof lock on here because Carson will try to eat every single thing that he can find. But this is my pantry and I think it's really cute and I love having this in this apartment. I desperately needed it. Trying to use my cabinets over there just really stressed me out. I like that it's all in its own separate area. It's organized to me. It's not perfect, but it's perfect for me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I think next time I do a declutter and an organize, it's going to be in my bathroom, um, well in Carson's bathroom, because it is kind of a disaster in the linen closet in there. So that needs to be dealt with pretty soon and organized. So you can be on the lookout for that. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and turn your no notification bells on so you don't miss any of my future videos. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one and it gave you some good organizing and decluttering motivation and some creative ways to use a small space. I had a lot of fun doing this and I'm looking forward to tackling another space in my apartment soon and filming it for you guys. But I hope that you're all having an awesome day and I will see you in my next video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are organizing and decluttering my laundry closet on a budget to provide you with tons of motivation and ideas for organizing your laundry space, whether it is big or small. Make sure you stay tuned to see the before and after transformation. I am super proud of how organized, functional, and cute this space ends up turning out. Everything I purchased for this video was either from Michaels, Home Goods, or Amazon, so it was super budget friendly. And if you want to see how I organize this space, then just keep on watching. I talked in a recent video of mine where I was decluttering my master closet. I was talking about how sometimes it can just seem so daunting to remove everything from a space at one time and work on it in one large chunk. So occasionally I like to do my decluttering by taking things out a little bit at a time just so I don't get myself too stressed out. But for this project, I wanted to remove everything from this closet so I could just start completely fresh and see what I was working with for space. Since I did want this to look kind of decorative, kind of Pinteresty, I wanted to make sure that everything was completely out so that I could make it look the best that I possibly could. And then before I did anything else, I just wanted to wipe down everything because it's not very often that a space is completely empty. So I just wanted to get it nice and clean before I started doing anything. This step was a little bit unnecessary, but I just felt like I wanted to have some sort of liner on these shelves since they're just like the closet made wire shelves. So I purchased this from Home Goods and it just adds a little bit of grip and it keeps things from falling through. The next
next thing that I'm doing is just going through this bin that had winter hats and gloves and things. It was kind of an eyesore and it was just way overpacked. So just went through it, decluttered it a little bit and put it in a prettier bin. And then I'm going through my tool collection. So I am a single mom now and live on my own. So I've been starting a tool collection, trying to teach myself how to do some of the handier stuff on my own. I don't have anything crazy, but I have like the basics and I've been storing them in these clear containers and it just was not the best system. And I didn't really want a toolbox because you know, they're not that cute. So I found this long galvanized bin from Home Goods, and I thought it was perfect for this so that I could just declutter this a little bit, figure out what I actually need and just organize it in a way that I can look directly into the bin and see everything. It's definitely not perfect, but it's so much better. And these handles make it really easy for me to lift it up and down onto the shelf. So I feel good about what I did with my tools. Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is now we're in the knees. I wanted to take a second here to shout out my friend Megan from the channel Loving Life as Megan. She posted a laundry closet organization video recently and it totally inspired me to finally tackle mine. I'd been wanting to do it for a while, but that video gave me the push that I needed to finally get it done. So if you haven't heard of Megan, I'm going to link her channel down below. She posts a ton of budget DIY makeovers and motivational cleaning and organizing videos on her channel. And she is one of my absolute favorites to watch. So when you are done here, go check out Megan's channel and let her know that I sent you. This gray bin was also from Home Goods. It came in a two pack. It was really inexpensive. And I'm just putting some of my miscellaneous items in there. So I have a couple of reusable grocery bags, which we cannot use right now due to everything going on. They don't allow us to use them at the stores. And then I just had a couple of other miscellaneous things that I had left over from when I organized my junk drawer. If you missed my small kitchen organization series, you can see in the second portion of that when I organized my junk drawer. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to put it in the cards right here. <laughs> As far as organizing my laundry products, I actually don't have a lot of them. I'm just kind of the person that uses one or two laundry detergents. I don't have a large collection of different products that I use for stains and for everything else. I keep it very simple. So I ended up purchasing just a couple of glass containers. I purchased one for my dryer balls and then I purchased one to put my scent boosters in, but I did not get a big dispenser for my laundry detergent. As pretty as those are, I just felt like it wasn't completely necessary. And you'll see when we get there at the final reveal of my laundry closet that it looks perfectly fine not having a big laundry soap dispenser. I think that that stuff is cute and I like it, but it's not entirely necessary. And I'm here to tell you that you don't need those things either. So they're pretty expensive. I imagine they'd be a little bit messy and they're just not completely necessary. Everything that we could have been, but I My laundry closet is where I store like everything because it's really the only storage space I have in my apartment aside from my master closet. So I keep my extra cat food in there as well and I just put it in a prettier bin. Since I'm all about maximizing all of my space as much as possible, I'm putting some command hook grippers on the back of my closet doors and those are for my broom and also for my duster. We turn the page and make up our broken trust got you haunted. The doubting you was enough to leave me chasing. Since I live in an apartment, I just use command strips for a lot of things. I don't really want to drill a whole bunch of holes in the wall. So I'm using the Velcro command strips. Those are definitely my favorite for hanging things. And I saw this little hack, I guess you could call it, I believe on Facebook. And you basically just put toothpaste where either your nails are gonna go or your Velcro command strips. And when you hold it up against the wall, it's gonna leave toothpaste behind. So you can see either where you need to drill or where you need to place your command strip. And this is awesome. You could put a level on top of your 
picture or whatever you're hanging as well to make sure it's level, but I just eyeballed it. Um, but this is a really great way to make sure that everything lines up properly and it just makes hanging things so much easier. This lost and found sign I found at Michael's and I want to say it was only $10 when it was originally like $39 or something crazy like that and I absolutely love it. I think it is so cute. Next, I'm just making a couple of labels for my different jars and bins. This label maker is really cheap and it's awesome. It's an embossed one. I think it just looks really cute. And I'll have that linked in my Amazon storefront as well as anything else that I can find on Amazon from this video or things that are similar. I'll put that in my Amazon storefront linked below. But I did want to say that I used this label maker in my kitchen organization video and I didn't know that the label maker itself would cut my labels out for me. So I was using scissors and I got a ton of comments from you guys like, you do know you don't need scissors for that, right? And I felt so stupid, but all I can do now is laugh at myself. But I probably should have read the instructions prior to using it in a video for the entire internet to see. Future me here. Yes, I know there was a typo and laundry was spelled wrong. I do know how to spell laundry. I really don't know what happened. I have no explanation for this one, but it's kind of funny to look back on. How my mistakes haunt us, but do they really daunt us? Your tongue can be sharp, cut me close to the heart, but we can master the art. And the thing is that these scars are scary, but they are just small scars. We should never be afraid of them. You and I know. You will see here that I'm going to be putting things back, taking them out, putting things back, taking them out a bunch of times. Here I just kind of threw everything in the closet, but then in a couple of minutes I ended up just rearranging it a few times just to make sure that I had everything exactly where I wanted it to be. So it might seem a little bit annoying as you're watching this and I am just so indecisive about where I want things, but I promise it all ends up turning out cute in the end. I'll keep my head high while we're crossing the land with all the minds we lay down it's gonna take us some time but I won't this adorable little coffee bin i got from home goods really really cheap and i thought it would work perfectly as a lint bin so what i did was actually take a couple of my velcro command strips and i placed those directly over the part of the bin that said coffee and push that against the wall. So you would never know that it was a coffee bin now, but I think this thing is so adorable. And I feel like in all of my little organization videos, I've had like one favorite thing, the kitchen organization video being my spice rack that you guys are probably so sick of hearing about. And then in my part two, I had another really cool container that hung up from the top of a shelf. And now here I have my lint bin and this thing is just so cute and it's completely extra probably don't actually need one but i just thought it was the cutest idea this is the part where i'm going to be taking things down and putting them back and taking them down and putting them back over and over and over again until i figure out where i wanted everything i wanted it to be functional i wanted it to make sense but i also wanted it to be pretty obviously so i did this a whole bunch of times and i probably could have cut this portion out of the video but i wanted to keep it real with you guys and show you what my process is when i'm organizing and decorating so i left it in. Since I live in an apartment, my kitchen is pretty small and these appliances like my Instant Pot and my ice cream maker are just really huge and they don't fit in any of my cabinets. So I'm just throwing those up on the top shelf in the back of this closet. And for the final touch in here, I felt like it needed a little pop of color. So I'm putting this pretty purple plant on the shelf and then I also just grabbed a couple of random socks and hung them up on my lost and found sign. Take my life for granted Say a 
So I think I'm done and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. It's even better than I thought that I could do um, for this space. So I really like that my apartment has this extra shelf here because I, as you can see, I need the extra space for storage. So over here I have this adorable little lost and found sign. I got this from Michaels. I want to say it was $10 but it was originally like 39 or something crazy like that but they were having a sale the day that i went and i found it and bought it so i just put a couple of random pairs of socks just to show you guys like what you could do with it but i also just think it looks cute and then these containers i also got from michael's they were each like under ten dollars this one and this one and this one i just have my dryer sheets and my dryer balls and then in here is my method scent booster. I forget the name of the scent that I like, but it smells so good. And then this is my washing machine cleaner, which actually I get a ton of questions about when I use this in my videos. It's just a washing machine cleaner and I spray it after every single load for the most part, as long as I remember. And it just helps to keep your washing machine clean without having to do like a thorough deep clean all the time. So I love that stuff. This is what I like to call my laundry tips because anytime I find change in my laundry, I just throw it in this jar and it's my tips for doing laundry. So one time I collected so much, I was able to buy myself like $50 worth of makeup from Ulta. So my laundry tips come in handy. And then back here is my laundry detergent in a perfect world i would have a really beautiful container that would dispense this but it just seems like a kind of expensive messy purchase like i can just see it leaking and it just being a really big ordeal so i didn't get one and i just use tide free and gentle it comes in a white container so it's not that bad and then over here is where i'm going to put rags that need to be cleaned because i like to wash my like e-cloths and microfiber cloths separately so I just have a little container just for them and I just thought the container itself was really cute with kind of like this wooden lid so these are dirty rags not clean rags they're dirty rags <laughs> and then back here I could not figure out what to do with these things I don't use the downy very often but occasionally I do and then I also have some stain remover back there so I'm still trying to figure out like a cuter alternative for those two things but for now that's just fine and then up here this is just a little basket i have all of carson's winter hats i have a couple of my hats and then i have winter gloves and things like that in there and i decluttered that quite a bit because i had kind of an excessive amount and then in here this is cat food so it looks a lot better than putting it in just like the shipping container that it comes in so i've just got all of arthur's kitty food in there easy for me to grab and then this is just a cute little plant. It's actually supposed to be hung up, like it's a hanging plant, but that's not really gonna work in this space. Like, I, I mean, I guess I could hang it up there, but I just thought that it looked cute here and it added some color with the purple, so I'm good with that there. And then this is full of tools. I don't have a toolbox, and this is way cuter than a toolbox, so it's not the most organized thing ever inside, but you can see everything because it's such a wide bin so I can look right down into it. It's got handles. It's easy for me to pick up and pull down from the shelf and just look at what's in there. So I'm happy with that. And then up top I have my instant pot and my ice cream maker. I just can't fit those in my kitchen. So that's why they're stored in here. And then that is full of miscellaneous items, kind of like a junk drawer, but things that I use even less than what is in the junk drawer. So I just keep all of that up there. And then this obviously is my collection of paper towels. So that is that. I'm so happy with it. And then this is probably my favorite part is my lint bin. I just think it's so cute. So anytime that I have lint 
from the dryer. I can just throw it in there and then dispose of it when it gets full. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I procrastinate and I just leave the lint like sitting on top of the dryer forever. So I think having like a place to actually put it is a good idea for me. And then this, I wish I could do something about this eyesore, but it is what it is. I live in an apartment, so I can't make everything look perfect. And then over here on my door, I just stuck my broom and this Swiffer duster. And I love these little command strip hanging things. <laughs> they're great. So I'll have those linked in my Amazon storefront. They're really cheap and they're easy to remove. As long as you tug them from right here and just pull straight down, it's not going to damage the surfaces. You just have to be slow and just pull it straight down. And then on the other door, I have my bags here for when I scoop Arthur's litter box. And I'll just throw all of my extra grocery bags and things in here. And it's just a good way to reuse plastic bags. And then I also store my ladder beside the dryer. It's just a good spot to keep it. And over here is for hanging clothing, but I don't use it very often. So I just kind of keep it tucked in there. But this is the final product. I think it came out beautiful and I'm so, so happy with it. And I feel like I'm going to dread going into this closet a lot less now. But that is everything for my small apartment laundry closet organization video. I hope that this gave you guys some ideas if you were looking for some or motivated you to go tackle some area in your home. I feel like doing the laundry closet is actually really important because laundry stinks and anything that we can do to make laundry just a little bit less daunting definitely helps. Let me know in the comments below what area you would like to see me organize or tackle next. I would love your suggestions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here and turn your notification bells on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll come back for my next video. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. This week is part three of my small kitchen organization series. So I'm showing you a bunch of brand new ideas for how to organize your kitchen when it's really small and you're on a budget. I wanted to make the items used in this video easily accessible to most everyone. So everything that you are going to see, I purchased off of Amazon and will have in my storefront. I see tons of wonderful Dollar Tree ideas, but I know that my Dollar Tree never has a great selection and I don't have much luck. So I felt like Amazon was the best bet for everybody. And these items are all affordable and you could customize this to your budget. So if you only wanna pick up one item and focus on organizing one area at a time, then that's okay. But my goal for this video is just to give you guys some fresh new ideas from my last video if you didn't see part one then i will link that here in the cards and in my description box below if you need even more ideas i also wanted to mention that this video is in collaboration with my friend katherine her channel name is katherine may she posts tons of organizing content over on her channel as well as cleaning and decorating she's got such a positive attitude and she's so much fun to watch i know you guys will love her in her video she's giving you all the cleaning decluttering and organizing motivation that you need and actually last week she posted a small kitchen organization video with tons of great ideas so make sure once you're done here you head on over to katherine's channel and let her know that i sent you all of her links will be in my description box below. Even if the sky is falling down. The first area that I'm going to focus on is under my kitchen sink. This tends to get the most out of control the fastest. I did organize this in part one of my small kitchen organization series, but since then I found myself kind of piling things back in there. So I'm just taking every single thing out and I'm going to clean the entire area down using my e-cloth. This is my favorite product to use for cleaning. So I'm just gonna wipe everything down really good and just be able to see the space that I'm working with. I 
purchased this pretty cool adjustable shelf on Amazon and I really like it because you can customize it to fit around all of the pipes underneath your sink. I had kind of a tough time putting this together just because I was bending underneath my sink forever and just trying to manipulate the thing to make sure that it fit around all of the pipes. But once I was done, I liked it a lot and I would definitely recommend this. I like it because as I've mentioned a million times, it's utilizing vertical space that would otherwise be wasted. The next thing that I'm putting together here is actually meant for things like boxes with plastic bags in them or your aluminum foil or your saran wrap, all those type of things. I didn't even end up using it under my sink because there wasn't as much space as I wanted there to be, but I will show you how you can use that later on in the video. But now I'm just going to start putting some things back in under my sink. I decided to use the magazine file that you see on my cabinet door for some different things. It used to be where I stored my aluminum foil and saran wrap and plastic bags and things like that, but now I'm just going to use it to store some of my most grabbed products. But you'll see here that I'm taking things apart and putting things back together and reorganizing like a million times. And that's just the way that I work when I'm organizing things. I'm just constantly trying to take a look and see if there's anything more efficient that I could do or if there's anything I wanna change or whatever. And I redo it so many times. But the worst part is that I usually end up going back to however I did it the first time. I want to do a quick surprise giveaway in this video, so I'm going to be giving away a $50 gift card to Amazon so that you can get started on your kitchen organization projects or just purchase whatever you want. So to enter the giveaway, it's really easy. You just need to leave a comment below anything you want and also be following me over on my Instagram, which I have in my description box below. This giveaway is only going to be open for the first week that this video is live, so make sure that you take advantage as quick as possible, and I'm going to be messaging the winner over on Instagram. It's too late. I could be the one who saves you from this place. Baby, they ain't never gonna This two-tier sliding drawer was one of the most popular items in my first kitchen organization video, and I still love it and still use it the same way. This has worked out perfectly. But now we're going to move on to organizing my spices. This idea is for all of you who said you had way too many spices for the idea that I gave you in my first video. These spice grippers are adhesive and I really like them because you can utilize some of that cabinet door space that would otherwise be wasted, just like I say in all of my organization videos. And you can kind of play Tetris with these to make them fit in a way that they don't bump into anything when you're closing your cabinet door. You know that I'ma keep it cool With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us who Playing around without a clue On the edge leaning out With us it's all or nothing I saw a really cool product on Amazon that I'm gonna show you guys here for organizing this cabinet. So first I'm just taking everything out and then I'm also going to clean it just like I did before. And I know that it's hard to see what I'm doing because of the way the camera is angled, but honestly there was no easy way to do this without me being in the way. So I apologize if I'm standing in front of everything that I'm doing and you can't see it. But these are stackable cup holders and I think they're really meant for things like Yetis, but I'm using them for Carson's sippy cups. We really don't have too many sippy cups anymore just because I honestly hated all of them and I got rid of them and I just have like the click lock ones for the most part. So I'm just going to lay them all into this. I like it because I can see everything that I have and this cabinet is actually pretty high so it can be difficult for me, but now I can see everything when I open the door and things aren't getting lost behind each other, so I would definitely recommend these. But moving on, we're going to deal with all of my baking supplies and things in this cabinet that's over my refrigerator. So I purchased an adjustable mechanism. You guys will see it in a minute. I don't even know what to call half of this stuff. And I'm going to put that together and then use that to store things vertically.
This was one of the most satisfying organizations that I did in this video and I like it because I used to go to grab things from this cabinet and once I pulled one thing out, everything would fall out and now I don't have that problem because I have everything sorted in between all these individual little slots. I decided to use this little stand that I took out from under my sink to just kind of divide up a couple of more things in here and just make it a little bit more organized. And I'm definitely glad that I did that. I think it made a huge difference, at least to me. So I really like these things. This one is from Target. They're really, really cheap. So I will have those linked in my description box as well. In my last video, I showed you guys a couple of ways to organize all of your pots and pans and your lids. And I did this pretty prematurely. I took off all of my lid holders that I really liked from my last video, thinking that I had another idea and it didn't go so well. So that's something that happens when you're organizing as well is things just don't always go as you planned and that's totally okay. So I'm probably gonna buy more of those because I really do like them and now they are ruined because I ripped all the adhesive off. I'm going to take everything out here. This pots and pans organizer that I had in there previously was okay, but it definitely wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So I purchased an adjustable one off of Amazon, which I did mention I was going to do in my first kitchen organizing video. So I'm taking every single thing out of there and just wiping it all down. And then I'm going to work on assembling that and also moving my shelf up a little bit higher because there was not enough space for the new product the way the shelf was. This definitely took a little bit of finagling and I thought this may not even work as well at first. I was getting a little bit frustrated, but I found a way to make it work for the most part. I think that if you have just a little bit more space than I do, this would work even better, but I'm just very limited in this cabinet for storing everything. So I had kind of a hard time, but I've definitely seen this look really nice for other people. And I think that it's probably as good as it's going to get for me. The traveling kind, it's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. I think that for me personally, the lid holders that I had on the cabinet doors before were definitely my best bet because they have such high handles on them that makes them really difficult to store because they're not very slim. I don't know if that makes any sense. So I had a really hard time figuring out how to put all of those and make them fit on here. So I ended up just stacking them on top of each other. So I think I'm probably gonna buy more of the lid holders than I had before and put them back on my cabinet doors. Listen for 
I didn't end up leaving this here and I may even return this because I don't think that I have a place for it in my kitchen but I wanted to show you guys how you actually use this product that is meant for your aluminum foil and plastic bags and saran wrap and things it is pretty nifty it just didn't work out for me because I didn't have anywhere good to put it, it was I originally wanted to place this product in the cabinet where my pots and pans were but I just didn't have enough space on the door so that's why I took down all of the lid holders like I was saying before pretty prematurely but I didn't like how I couldn't get my drawer to close all the way with this on the door like that because of the way that it was put together so what I ended up doing was actually using velcro command strips just to stick it on the back of this cabinet door and then it stuck flat and I didn't have the issue with trying to close the door and having there be a gap but what I wanted to store in here was all of my cutting boards and I actually just purchased some really cool cutting boards that are like mats and they have specific ones for different things like chicken or steak or fruits or whatever and you'll see them in a minute they're super slim so you could literally store these anywhere and they also are dishwasher safe and they're just really easy to keep clean I've been really liking them so far so I'm gonna have those linked in my storefront as well wanted to show you guys that I'm still utilizing my little spice shelf that I had before and I just stuck some one-off spices in it so some things I don't use all the time but I wanted to show you that I'm still using it because this is one of my favorite products of all time and if it's still available on Amazon I will have it linked. I decided to use the products that I was previously storing my pots and pans in in this top cabinet here where I had a bunch of recipe books that were just piled up. I honestly don't ever use the recipe books and I may get rid of most of them, but I just thought this was kind of a neat idea to utilize something that otherwise I probably would have thrown away. I didn't have another use for it. So I'm just going to use it to store all of my recipe books so I can actually see them when I open the door and maybe I'll start using them. But that's all I have for you guys for the last part of my small kitchen organization series. I hope that this gave you some fresh new ideas and you want to just run off and take your kitchen apart and organize all of the things. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching and thank you to my friend Catherine for collaborating with me on this video. Don't forget to go over to her channel and say hello and let her know that I sent you. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. My handle is always in my description box below if you wanna catch up on more of my day-to-day -day life and see some behind the scenes stuff. But once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for my entryway makeover video. I have been working on this for what feels like forever and I'm so excited the day has finally come to share this with you all. In this video, I'm creating my dream entryway. I have no coat closet in my apartment, so storage has been a challenge, but I finally found a beautiful renter-friendly solution. I will be cleaning the entire area out and completely making it over with a DIY bench, a DIY shelf with hooks, and an absolutely stunning piece of furniture that inspired this whole project, and I'll be decorating as well. So be sure to stick around until the end of the video to see the before and afters because it is a complete transformation, and I am so proud of what I was able to do with this space. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. 
pieces. As you can see here, my entryway was not at all inviting and was just full of clutter. I knew that I needed more storage than the white table that I already had, so the first thing that I did was sell that on Facebook Marketplace. This makeover ended up being super budget friendly because I did this and I was able to just reinvest that money back into the project to purchase some decorative items and buy the supplies needed for my DIY bench and shelves. But once that table was gone, I got to work completely cleaning out the space. We get up and start from the ground. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Since I live in an apartment, painting is not an option. I also don't really want to spend money on peel and stick wallpaper that I will have to tear down when I leave anyway, so I really focused on my decor for this makeover as well as function. Just because you rent does not mean you can't make a space your own. You just have to be creative and very intentional. I found a beautiful sideboard from Article, which you will see here in a little bit, and I based my entire project around this piece. And I'll show you how I did that and my planning process later on in this video. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone The walls in my apartment, you could honestly just look at them and they will scuff up. The paint quality is just not that good and I feel like it's like that in pretty much all commercial buildings, so it really doesn't surprise me, but I was not expecting the magic eraser to work as well as it did. I got every single scuff off of the walls and the difference was amazing at the end of this. The magic eraser did shred up quite a bit as I was scrubbing the walls, which is to be expected when you are really going at it uh, trying to get a bunch of scuffs off. So I just vacuumed those up really quickly and then finally I'm just going to steam mop the area so that it is completely fresh and ready for my makeover. Okay, so it is the next day. The most exciting delivery just got here. This is going to be like the focal point for this entire entryway project. So I'm going to work on opening this up and doing any assembly that's required. The delivery guys were really awesome. <laughs> they carried this in for me and put it right here. So hopefully I can just get this out on my own and set up. I'm so excited to see how it looks. Wow, that was a really good jump. <laughs> I kind of feel like Superwoman because I was able to get this sideboard completely out of the packaging and set up all by myself. This stunning piece was sent to me by Article, who I have partnered with for this video. I had my eye on it for quite some time and I knew it would be just the perfect thing for my entryway. It's got so much storage space, it's incredible quality, real wood with brass metal legs. It's honestly the most beautiful piece of furniture I have ever owned. I love the three-dimensional detail and it just totally transformed my entryway. I honestly just want to sit over there and stare at this thing because I love it so much. And I just love Article so much as a company and their products. I have also purchased my couch from Article and I have to say their customer service is top notch. They provide contactless delivery, their delivery process is incredibly easy and painless, and not to mention the furniture is such great quality. 
at a great price and it's all designed to last. I am going to have a link to Articles website in my description box below if you would like to go check out some of their products if you're in the market for some really high quality but great priced furniture. I would highly, highly recommend them. I've had such great experiences both as a customer purchasing my couch from them and then also partnering with them. Be sure you stay tuned to later on in the video to see how I styled this beautiful cabinet and the way that I organized it inside. The rug that I purchased to go underneath this cabinet was from Ruggable. I've never purchased a rug from them before, but I was really intrigued by the fact that they are machine washable. So you actually get a rug pad that you adhere to your rug cover and you can remove it and throw it right into the washing machine. And I thought that was amazing because I have a huge area rug in my living room that is just extremely difficult to clean. And the idea of having a machine washable rug I thought was like the coolest thing ever. I place a hand upon your heart Every beat is Okay, I finally have it all assembled and I have my new rug out that I got from Ruggable. I love them together, but it's not fully even because trying to lift this thing by myself and move a rug with a gripping pad under it is literally impossible. I'm actually amazed I even got it as close to being <laughs> right as I did but it still needs a little bit more work, but I'm going to start putting some things in here. I'm so excited, I can't wait. My dad is just the best and he agreed to help me with my DIY projects. I had so much fun working with him in the garage on these projects and they're just that much more special to me because we did it together. The first thing that we did was build a DIY bench. This bench was inspired by my friend Megan, who I'm sure you all know as Loving Life as Megan over here on YouTube. She did a DIY home office makeover in collaboration with another one of my favorite YouTubers, Whitney P. And they created a beautiful bench for her office and I knew I had to find a space for something similar and my entryway felt like the perfect spot. This was so simple to make and turned out better than I could have imagined. To make this bench, we just purchased a two by four by eight, a two by eight by eight and two and a half inch construction screws. We cut the two by eight in half, so we had two equal pieces, and then we cut the two by four into four pieces that were 15 and a half inches long and four pieces that were eight inches long. And then we just assembled these boxes using the smaller pieces. Those would be the legs of the bench. We centered them on the bench, making sure there was a one and three quarter inch overhang on each side, and it was just that simple. And it turned out beautiful. The next project that we worked on was making the shelf with hooks. I do not have a coat closet as I mentioned before, so storage is pretty difficult and as it is right now I'm just storing all of our jackets in our closets and that's not really convenient when you're trying to run out the door. So I saw this shelf on Pinterest and I thought it looked perfect so I recreated it and I'm going to link that blog where I saw this shelf below so you can try to make this yourself. Something else that I wanted to do was to paint my litter box cabinet white. Not the most glamorous thing in the world, but this is real life and I have a cat, so I need a litter box. And the only place, unfortunately, that I can store it is in my entryway, but if it was white, I figured it would blend in a little bit more and it wouldn't be quite as much of an eyesore. So I rinsed the litter box cabinet out really good, left it in the sun to dry, and while I was waiting for it to dry, I just moved on to painting my shelf. Like a shift in the flow A change coming It's inevitable In a paradise 
I honestly did not do much prep work to this cabinet before I started painting it and it turned out perfectly fine. I probably could have spent more time sanding or something like that, but this thing was a hand-me-down. I didn't even buy it new. It was completely free, so I honestly was not super concerned about it being perfect. And for as little prep work as I put into it, after a couple of coats of paint, it looked just fine. So this was it after one coat and then I'm going to show you it when it was all done. And it looks great in my opinion. I think that for what it was, it turned out perfectly fine. The next thing that I'm doing is just staining my bench and it was kind of funny because my dad has been in construction forever and he's never seen somebody stain a bench using two colors. So the two colors that I used were I believe early American and then I think it was just like a traditional gray color but I will have the stains that I used in my description box below if you want to recreate this same exact stain color at home. Here is the finished bench. I can't even begin to tell you guys how obsessed with this thing that I am. I'm so glad that we did it. And then finally, we just needed to attach the hooks for my shelf. I got these hooks on Amazon, so I will have these linked in my storefront if you were interested in purchasing them for your projects. Finally, we arrived home and it was time for me to start kind of putting things together. So I just quickly cleaned up because obviously my cat's litter box had been sitting out all day and he of course got litter everywhere. So I cleaned that up. I got his litter box situated inside of the cabinet and then I started to carry in everything else. So the bench and also the shelf so I could get that hung up. My dad made it so easy for me to hang this thing up. He made me a French cleat using the extra wood that we had. So basically I could just hang this piece of wood up on the wall in my apartment and then the shelf would actually just kind of insert itself into it. And it was perfect. It made hanging the shelf incredibly easy for me and it was flat against the wall, which is what I wanted. So now we are going to focus on organizing the inside of this beautiful cabinet from Article. This is all of the storage space that I have for a coat closet now and I am so beyond excited to have this because as you could see before my entryway was a total disaster and there was no room to put anything so I can't even tell you guys how good it feels to finally have this storage space and have everything organized where I want it to be. I just grabbed a couple of bins that I already had in my apartment and I started filling them up. So one of them I used for things like hats and gloves in the winter time. Another bin I filled up with bug spray and sunscreen, things that I would just need to grab on my way out the door that I probably don't want to forget. And then I ended up using the wooden bin to store Carson's shoes because he's got such little feet and it just keeps them easily accessible in a bin instead of thrown around inside of the cabinet. It took me a couple of times just kind of rearranging things, but I feel really good about the way that things ended up. I also stored Carson's helmet in there so that when we go out to ride his bike, 
that's right there where we need it i stored my diaper bag in there also his daycare bag and my purse that i would bring to work so everything is right there easy for me to grab when we were headed out the door When I was designing what I wanted to do for this space, I actually used Canva, which is a website if you've never heard of it before, and I used their background remover tool to kind of put things where I wanted, see how it all looked, figure out what colors looked good together, and I would highly recommend this method of decorating if you are someone like me who really struggles to figure out what looks good together. I am just really bad at going to a store or shopping online and just kind of guessing what would look good and them coming in and me being pretty disappointed. So I tried to be extremely meticulous about this process and really making sure that things look good together by designing a little template for myself in Canva. And I'm going to put that design right here on the screen so you can see what I mean and then you can watch it come to life. This mirror is from Target. It was from the Hearth and Hand collection. I had originally been looking at a threshold mirror that was actually a little bit more expensive and had more of a brass finish, but it came in shattered when it arrived at my apartment. So I ended up going to the store and returning it and they didn't have that one in stock. So I purchased the Hearth and Hand one and I love it. And it was a little bit cheaper, which was really surprising. The lamp I also purchased from Target and the bins that you see here were from Ikea. I use these bins for things like face masks that we now need to grab every single time we leave, and also my keys. I have not decided what's going in the little tiny bin yet, but for now it is there for decorative purposes. And the two vases that I threw onto this cabinet were from West Elm and they were actually free. I used rewards points from purchasing my furniture with them and I got them completely for free. And I love them, they're super high quality and really cute and they look perfect in this space. I've had them for a while and they've been sitting on a tray on my kitchen table, but they look a million times better on this cabinet. Anything that I can link for you guys, I will make sure to link in my description box below if you are looking for any of these items for your space. It's the same old story being told inside my head. And now finally, it is time for the big reveal. So one more time, I'm going to remind you what my entryway looked like before so you can really get the full effect of what a complete transformation this makeover was. So here's my entryway after. I am so in love with it. I honestly can't believe that I actually did this because as I was saying before, I just do not have an eye for this stuff and I'm so proud of myself for how this turned out. It's functional, it's pretty, it's easy on the eyes, and it's so welcoming when I first walk in the door at the end of a long day. Like I said, I'm going to have any items linked in the description box below if you guys are interested in checking them out, but actually I DIY'd quite a few of them like the welcome sign and also the paintings. I painted both of them myself. But that is the end of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram. I like to share some sneak peeks sometimes of these things as I'm working on them. And of course, just share more of my day-to-day -day life. But thank you so much for watching. Once again, I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. I keep on thinking back on it real paycheck wasn't much but we needed less yeah than we do now we were driving back. hey guys welcome back to my channel for another video this week we are doing some extreme decluttering of my bathroom including the linen closet and my entire sink vanity area 
and I'm also bringing you some cleaning motivation. So if you enjoy decluttering, organizing, and cleaning videos, you have come to the right place. So feel free to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. But before I could get into my main project for the day, I did have some tidying up I needed to do around my apartment. We had a very busy weekend because it was Carson's birthday party weekend. So things were feeling a little bit out of control and I really felt like I just couldn't fully immerse myself in my bathroom project before I did some picking up in my kitchen and living room. Do you remember that? In spite of everything that we like, nothing compares to the freedom we had. I would do it again if you say the word. So many years have passed. But In my last video, I went through all of Carson's toys that are out in our living room area and I just kind of decluttered them and organized them a little bit. But then of course his birthday happened and he got lots more things. So I'll probably have to do that again pretty soon and I am looking into alternative toy storage methods. I did have a subscriber recommend to me the IKEA storage unit for toys and I am looking into that one because it is affordable and it looks like it is pretty nice. But in the meantime, before we get around to that, if you guys missed that video, I am going to have that linked in the cards right here if you need some toy decluttering and organizing motivation. I had a request from a subscriber to kind of update you guys on how my different organization projects ended up turning out over time. So in a recent video, I reorganized my fridge. If you missed that, I will also have that linked in the cards for you guys. But that system is going extremely well. I have felt like it's been like a breath of fresh air to have my refrigerator organized all the time. The bins that I purchased off of Amazon for that project were really inexpensive and such great quality and I organized everything kind of by category. So whenever I've had to get groceries since doing that video, I just kind of put everything into the bin that is its category and it's not very complicated. It's really easy to keep up with. So at least that portion of my organization projects has been going really well. I just always like to make sure that my countertops are completely wiped down and there are not crumbs or anything hiding. I made Carson's birthday cake for him this year so I felt like there was sugar and flour and things just kind of hiding all over the place on my countertops. So as usual I'm using my e-cloths to clean every single surface in my kitchen. They work on literally any surface and I love them and highly recommend them. We talk about faith. Is it just something you say? Or is it the same? With that girl you texting when I look away. I use this cabinet as my pantry if you have missed me talking about it in other videos. As you can see, there was something, I don't even know what, all over it and it was pretty nasty. So again, using my e-cloth, I'm just going to wipe this whole thing down. And you may notice my cat attacking me as I'm trying to do this because he thought I was playing. The 
this door leads out to my patio area and we often leave it open and Carson kind of runs in and out. So it gets pretty gross because sticky little toddler fingers. I'm just going to, again, using my e-cloth, just wipe down all of the blinds on this door and then also the door itself. What you're not going to see is the part where the blinds fell down on top of my head and I had to get them back up there. It was so annoying and I thought that they were for sure not going to clip back on up top and they did, thankfully, because I really didn't want to not have blinds on this door. We do live on the first floor, so for me, that would have just been awful to not have blinds for privacy for a little bit. You know that I'ma keep it cool With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us who Playing around without a clue On the edge cleaning out With us it's all or nothing Finally, we are getting into the best portion of this video in my opinion and that is taking everything off of my vanity, everything out from under the vanity, everything out from in the linen closet and laying it all over the bathroom to overwhelm ourselves. I felt so overwhelmed a couple of times while I was filming this, it was just too much stuff and a lot of it I've had for a really long time and have taken it from a condo to living with my parents to in storage to my old house to my apartment and I haven't touched those things since living in that condo so it was definitely time for me to go through everything really well I don't know why I didn't do this before I moved but it felt amazing to do this and get rid of so many things that I just wasn't using and were just taking up space in my life there is really something to be said about how decluttering and organizing can impact our mental health. It may sound silly, but I seriously felt like a giant weight was lifted off of my shoulders after doing this. Now, for this linen closet, I honestly was not going for anything Pinterest worthy my main goal was to get rid of things. So you're gonna see the end transformation is basically just a near empty closet, but that is exactly what I was going for. And if you guys want to see a more Pinterest worthy transformation, I will link for you guys a really embarrassing video and it's like one of the first few ones I ever posted on my channel where I decluttered and organized my linen closet in my old house. So that video I believe is private now, but I will take it off of private and link it for you guys so you can check that out if you are looking for a prettier transformation. Once I had everything out of everything, I had absolutely no space to even sit down and start going through things, so I needed to just grab a trash bag and start throwing things away just to make enough space for myself to even sit down. I had an excess of cleaning products that I was just never going to use and they were taking up so much space in my bathroom so I went through all of my cleaning products and got rid of things that I wasn't using. I was checking the labels prior to throwing them away because I'm so terrified of chemical reactions and I didn't want to throw things away and create like a biohazard so I was being very careful about what I actually placed into the trash bag. I do have to say though that I felt incredibly wasteful getting rid of some of these things so I did end up going back through the bag of trash and taking out some of the cleaning products to bring to my parents house and hope that they would use them instead of me.
I've had this bin full of baby products since I was pregnant with Carson that we've never used because he has very sensitive skin and we stick to the Hello Bello brand from Walmart. That is the only kind of body wash or shampoo that he can use that doesn't irritate his skin. So I finally went through all of those and got rid of some things. And then I also had to go through our medicines. I had a lot of expired medication, a lot of medication I forgot that we even had. So it was good to just go through and sort that out a little bit. This first aid kit I've had for a really long time and a lot of the things that were in it were actually expired. There's different like pain medications and things of that nature and all the expiration dates had long passed. So I went through this first aid kit and just grabbed some of the things that don't expire like band-aids and trauma pads and just random things. And I put those all in a more compact little container with the rest of my first aid supplies because this one was just taking up so much space and it was so heavy. It's meant for commercial use, I'm pretty sure. So it, it just wasn't working out in my closet and I was so happy to get rid of it. Everything is all right. Oh, I wanna be with you. Oh, I wanna be with you. Let me be the So now finally I am putting things back into the closet and also just vacuuming it out a little bit. It really wasn't bad though. I honestly hardly ever go in this closet because every time I did things would fall out on top of me. So we're finally going to fix that problem and this closet ends up looking so empty which is exactly what I was going for and I'm so happy that I finally have space to store more things. I have pretty limited closet space in this apartment, so any extra space that I can make myself is so greatly appreciated. a lot of ideas that I have for this bathroom that I plan to do in upcoming videos but this week I just really wanted to focus on that closet and decluttering but I did put together this cute little shelf over in the corner of my vanity and I was so happy with the way that it turned out very simple but it just made this bathroom look 10 times better you and I know when we are These are all of the things that I ended up getting rid of from in this bathroom. Everything except for the vacuum, I would not get rid of that. But it felt so good to finally get rid of some of these things that I have been taking from move to move for literally no reason. And I also got rid of this little first aid kit, which kind of made me sad because I thought it was super adorable. It was an impulse purchase from Home Goods one day, and I've never used it and it's kind of awkward and difficult to store things in it so it was time to say goodbye but it felt so good to get rid of all of this clutter that was just taking up space and serving zero purpose in my life so 
So this is not like a Pinterest worthy transformation because there's really not that much in here now, which is awesome because I needed the extra space for storing things. So that was kind of the goal for today was for me to get rid of a ton of things and make extra space. So I'm pretty happy with how much I got rid of and what I'm storing in here. So obviously I just keep my toilet paper. I have nowhere else to put my steam mop. So I have my steam mop in here and then my extra steam mop pads in that little bin. And then I also keep my little shower scrubber here and extra parts that go to my steam mop. And then I've got a whole bunch of tissues and cotton balls. This is just full of washcloths and this is where I will put all of my bath towels, but they currently need to be folded, so it's pretty empty at the moment. This is all of the first aid stuff that I have, so everything right in this bin, it's just a lot more compact than the one that I had previously. And then this is all of the medicines that I currently have. And then up here, I keep beach towels and beach-related items. And then way up top, I keep the bleach so that Carson can't get into it. And then also his humidifier because we don't use it that often. So look at how much extra space I have. I may need to start using this closet for storing things other than bathroom related items because I do live in an apartment with limited closet space. So I'll probably end up reorganizing all of this again and putting more in it. But for now, I feel so much better getting rid of all of this stuff that I just don't need. I also ended up storing 99% of my cleaning products under my bathroom sink. This is a huge space. I really don't have anything else to put under here and I feel like this is a good place for it. And then I also have all of my Scentsy bars and Bath and Body Works wax melts, whatever you want to call them. So for this vanity, I got this little shelf from Ikea and it's actually like a shelf riser, I think for inside of your cabinets, but I thought it looks kind of nice here. And on top of that, I have this little plant that I've had forever. It's fake, obviously. That is just a spray bottle full of water. Sometimes when Carson's hair is really crazy in the morning, I have to get it kind of wet and comb it out. So that's why that's there. And then my Scentsy warmer. If you guys have never used Scentsy before, I really love Scentsy products. They're awesome. My sister is a consultant, so she's who I've always bought everything from and they have some really pretty warmers like this one i can't remember the name i've had it forever but i just think it looks super pretty the wax warmers are awesome too if you have kids because they're not candles so you don't have to worry about the kids burning themselves carson has straight up put his hand inside of the warmer before and it did not burn him he was totally fine the scentsy warmers never get hot enough that you could actually burn yourself so that's really great when you have kids. So I would recommend Scentsy. I always link Scentsy in my description box if you guys are interested. Like I said, my sister is a consultant. So if you go there and purchase from her Scentsy shop, that helps her out. And then I just put some little washcloths under here rolled up. Those are obviously for decoration. I don't think anyone's ever gonna be using them. And then some cotton balls. But I think for using a little shelf riser in here, not like a real shelf, I think it turned out pretty adorable. So I'm happy with that. The only other thing that I do want to do in here is just get a hook that I can hang a towel from over here. And then I would also just really like to make some shelves that I can hang above the toilet just to add a little bit more decoration. Maybe hang a little picture or something over here, which reminds me I do actually have one that I could hang there. So maybe in my next video I will do that. And now I need to clean my shower because it is disgusting. So I'm going to do that. I saw Amy Fritz doing this in one of her recent videos where she was cleaning and decorating her bathroom. She said that she uses her Clorox disposable toilet wands to clean the tub and I thought this looked like a really cool idea so I decided to try it in my shower. And I actually kind of liked it. Um, it made it a little bit easier of a process for me and obviously these Clorox disposable toilet wands are disinfecting so it was cleaning my shower pretty well and I don't know it just overall worked I wouldn't say it was like the best thing I've ever tried but I did think it did a good job
I always clean my glass shower doors using my Thieves cleaner and a microfiber cloth. Thieves is amazing on glass surfaces, so mirrors, shower doors, things along those lines, windows, it works super well. So I always use this to clean my glass shower doors and it works like a charm. But that is the end of this week's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one and it gave you some cleaning motivation and got you up and ready to do some decluttering projects. I promise you, you will feel a million times better if you just tackle one of your big projects that you have been putting off today after watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I have so many fun videos coming up that I'm so excited to share with you guys, but we're going to leave this one here. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I really hope that you enjoyed it and you will come back for my next one. Just watch me break it.